The second regiment advance camp went through chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear training. Cadets go through the gas chamber as part of sea burn training. Before cadets go inside to the gas chamber, they have to complete several safety lectures as well as being tested on wearing their equipment. To pass this point in this training, cadets must be able to place on their protective mask in 9 seconds. They must also be able to put on their bodysuit in 8 minutes or less. Later, cadets lined up in a group outside of the gas chamber until told to go inside and take off their mask. Let's go! You guys are moving too slow. It should not take eight minutes to put on the dock. But it's not well, I'm expecting to have my face burn a little bit, but besides that, it's just going to show me that my equipment works well and uh, that I'll be prepared when I'm out in the fight. Today we have advanced camp, so they're the seniors. They're coming through. We teach them all about their J list, all about their equipment, their M40 Pro Mask or their M50 Pro Mask. And uh, we run them through the chamber, ensure to them that their mask and equipment does work. They go in verifying that they can see, they can breathe, they can move, and they can function in their gear. And then we have them remove that gear to prove that it is actually a contaminated environment and that their gear was working. Me again. feel great. It was as bad as last year. Basic camp, much hotter, much more sweaty. I think that had a worse, worse reaction with the chemical, but this time not too bad. It's important to remain calm and work as a team in the gas chamber. I'm Chloe Parr, reporting for the CSC Public Affairs Office for Knox. If you get a chance to do CS gas, don't do it because it sucks. <laughs>